At 655, somebody built homes from material that was supposed to wind up in the landfill. I'm Kathy Unru, back with Bill Loftus and their piece of styrofoam. Now, what are we going to do with that styrofoam, Bill? Well, we're going to mix it with wood. And then what's going to happen? Then we're going to help humanity with it. No kidding. Really? In my fox books a little later. I'm Kathy, back with Bill again. Look what happened to our styrofoam. And this is what happened to our wood. We ground it up. And by the time Bill gets done with this stuff... You can live in it. He'll show you how and why in my fox books. <laughs> what do you get when you mix styrofoam balls and wood chips together and throw in a little cement? How about a house? A house that a child could build and you could live in. The inventor is one of Kathy Unruh's fox folks. Desperate poverty and deadly weather have one thing in common. They're home records. Bill Loftus wants to answer both with home building. It's a personal thing. Um, it's, we're all part of humanity and we should all do something to make a difference for the next generation. So Bill is building houses that he says kids can put together. Me and you and friends could build anything here. It doesn't take any skill particularly or power tools. It's all like a big kid's Lego set and a rector set. Unlike conventional houses of wood or stone or stucco, Bill's houses are made of recycled styrofoam and wood. All of this stuff would have been in the landfill. Old styrofoam is ground up, then mixed with chipped wood, moistened with concrete, and poured into molds. The resulting bricks fit together like child's toys and are fastened with concrete and reinforcing bars. And that's what actually holds it together. That's the engineering of it. That holds it together and the concrete protects it from the weather. That's all. Bill says the best part is his houses can be built for about a third of the cost of a conventional house. I basically came up with a way to make it affordable and that's by people building a house by themselves. Bill Loftus is a building contractor who wanted to make an entire neighborhood for his family and his friends. That was the idea that got me going on this to be a nice safe environment for my boys to grow up in. But not everyone could afford a home there, so Bill came up with this. For me it's just uh, it's sort of like a calling, you know, my purpose is to help people with um, like a big kid's Lego housing thing. and it's, an, it's a basic and, uh, as far as food, clothing, shelter. Now Bill is looking beyond his next door neighbor to needy citizens the world over. There's a lot of factors in this that could really help uh, humanity, and that's what I'm trying to do here. He says poor countries could house their destitute, and a hurricane need never leave anyone homeless again. Our engineering tests basically have shown that this house, in order to lift it up, you have to lift the entire house up. And a sturdy, affordable, environmental home, Bill says, could last 200 years. I'm into the next generation. I want to help the children. So that's what I'm trying to do. Kathy Henry, Fox 13 News. I have such respect for inventors. Great goal. We'll see you tonight at 10. Let us know the weather coming up. Good night.